my name is Ramsony, welcome back to Grifflands. I'd like to mention at the top of this episode that this series is sponsored by Clay. There is a link in the description down below for you to be able to purchase the game and play for yourself. Alright, what mission are we going to go for? Friend or Fanatic? Delana has offered you a reward to rescue Malawi from bandits. We get to upgrade a card at the end of the battle. Uh, do we have that many cards that like are that far from an upgrade that we want to upgrade? Mm, definitely not there. Appeal to Reason's almost leveled up already. Uh, what about in here? Defensive Surge, I guess? That's about it. Maybe Reversal, maybe Combination. Uh, Recon Enforce, Graft, you get a Graft from a random draw, but it is a focus on combat. Unfortunately, a focus on combat is a little bit difficult for us at this point. Uh, Sparky Lent Rook, 131 shields. Retrieve the money if you can, or make an example of Rook and make Sparky happy. So I can choose combat or negotiation, I'm imagining, for this, uh, just by convincing Rook to give the money back. Mm, remove a card from one of my decks is the, the benefit I get. Okay, never mind. That's not actually a mission. That's just the meat market. Um, I really want the graft. I just don't think I can take that. I don't think I'm good at combat yet. So I want something that's easier and... I mean, I'm trying to focus a lot on negotiation, but you do need to make, mo like, both decks good. You know what? I'm going to go to Friend of Fanatic. I'm going to solve it using negotiation, and then I'm going to try and use it to upgrade a battle card. You're stopped along the road by an Admiralty patrolman swinging their bandons with some showmanship. Yo, Grifter, get over here. There's a pompous curl on his lips that suggests you're in for a heap of trouble. Best watch yourself. You're under arrest for carrying contraband. What? Contraband? What contraband? Oh, right. Grex fumbles around in his pockets for a second, produces a vial of slurry, and hands it to you. There. As I was saying, you're under arrest for carrying contraband. The vine is, uh, 250 shills. Grex looks at you with smug satisf uh, satisfaction. Pay the ridiculous fine, refuse and defend myself, or negotiate a smaller fine. I'm going to negotiate a smaller fine and then see if I can fight afterwards. I imagine it's not going to be possible. Leash that thing. No, how about I unleash that thing instead? Was that discard there? Deflection? Yeah, that's kind of fine, actually. Okay. Let's go with Sal's Instincts for a Influence. Use that to attack the back line of there. Hopefully, this is enough to kill it. Hey, and it is. Beautiful. And then I'll even use an appeal to reason for just a bunch of damage here. <laughs> of course, you're going to plant evidence on me constantly over here. Right. Um, let's boost our rapport first. Then attack the back and gain composure at the same time. And use an influence for some extra damage there. That'll do. It's possible I have the ability to kill the core argument this turn. Yeah, like 8, 3, 3. Improv this card. So what, 8, 3, 3 is 6, 8, 14. Improv this card, get something that does damage. Yeah, that'll do. Gain the influence first. <sighs> Alright, one of three negotiation cards to pick up. Uh, none of these look that good, so we've seen her up before. Uh, target argument loses two resolve, you gain two resolve? Nah. Keep cool, double composure on all arguments. No, I'm, I'm kind of fine with the builds that I'm going with at the moment. Really? Really? All right, since this is your first defense, I can lower the fine just for you. It's 50 shields now. If I fight, I'm probably dead here. Grex has three pips. Ugh. Jeez, I admire your hustle at least. Consider this a tip for entertainment, at least. Well, Hesh, didn't think I'd get away with this at all, really. Thanks for being such a good sport. I'll even let you keep the vial of slurry. I don't want the vial of slurry. I've been avoiding them constantly here. All right. 
It's hard to believe that Halit has a reputation for being a bit of a Casanova, but you are always immune to such charms. The Kradeshi looks you up and down in slow suspicion. Uh, right, let's talk to Delano. Having your own parish in a closet, uh, is the closest, rather, a Deltrian can get to nobility. The rules are different in Havaria, but maybe nobody told Delena that. Didn't think my, uh, day would involve, uh, grifter dealing. Uh, friend or fanatic? Oh, let's go. So you're a, uh, hunter, right? You do jobs for pay? Not all jobs, and only for good amounts of pay. But you've got the idea. My friend uh, Malawi was on a mission through the more uh, rugged parts of Murder Bay, and I haven't heard from him in days. He's a luminary, trained in combat. It's uh, hard to believe that some miscreants managed to get the jump on him. But he's missing all the same. I've petitioned the priests in Supplicant City to investigate, but I, uh, I, I, I worry they will, uh, they'll come too late. Will you look for him? Yeah, let's go for it. Tackle applies two defense to myself? I like that. If this card dismisses an argument of bounty, gain one dominance. That would be really good for a dominance based build. Uh, I bleed for each card played this turn. I mean, there are some turns where I play like a lot of bleed. For each card played this turn. I'm a combo player. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a slice. Sure. A job for pay. You got yourself a deal. Uh, thank you, uh, Hunter. This is a huge relief. May your path ever keep to the shadows. Shallows, rather. All right. Friend of Fanatic is up here. Cool, we'll go for that. Malawi's trail, uh, trail leads you here. Judging by the prince, he's lost his footing in a scuffle with bandits. You spot the telltale signs of a kidnapping and follow off the trail. You hear voices and melt back into the bush like a stalking yote. To your surprise, you don't find a bandit camp, but rather the Admiralty, with shoulders as stiff as their starched collars. It's nothing personal, Luminary. I don't really want to hurt you. Not least because this would piss in Hesh's water. We just have to make a point is all. The Spree do this to travelers all the time, but the Annex can stop it. You chose your path, soldier. The cult will hear of this, whatever you do to me. Sorry, but that's the idea, pal? They'll think it's the Spree who did it. This isn't quite what you expected, but a rescue mission is a rescue mission. Better get to it. Threaten Fonda or take Malawi by force? All right, I'm gonna threaten Fonda. 40 resolve, oof. You step out of uh, hiding and approach the guard, muscles flexing. Now, what was it you just said? It's nothing personal. I don't want to hurt you. What the hesh are you doing here? I'm about to serve up some divine retribution. Unless you want to hand over the Luminari. Ooh, at the end of your turn, incept to intimidated. Yeah, I'm not going to be intimidating the enemy here. So like, those are just dead cards for me effectively. Promoted thinking, I wanted that one. Three, 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 three. No! That sucked. Ow. Okay, uh, let's boost rapport. Spend an influence to kill that. Spend an influence to kill that. And then I'm still going to have the planted evidence blow up here, but my core resolve is more than the four damage the uh, planted evidence will do to me. Oh, but the excess damage as well. Visionary threaten. I mean, like, my threatens right now are really good. So you know what? I'm actually going to I'm gonna go with it. I'm going to try and do some dominance here. Get threatened. Okay, I honestly probably should have. Wait, hang on. Boost rapport and then stone fast talk. Show that out as well. Um, 
think actually I'll also use lean time here and then compose myself. And that was just so that I actually get the experience on the composure as well. Okay, King Shriek here is really good. Not only does it get the kill, but it levels up as a result. Okay, uh, Intrigue. Deal six additional damage or more base damage. I always have influence, so six additional damage there, definitely. Upgrade this. Okay, so I can have, have uh, Flatter, Compliment, and Attitude. So Attitude is the same as the Attitude that's already in this. It's zero, uh, zero actions in order to deal two damage, gain one dominance, expend. Um, but the other two cards are Flatter, zero actions, deal three damage. Spend one influence, deals two bonus damage, and hits all opponent arguments. Ooh, yes, that's some good AoE right there. And then there's also Compliment, gain two influence, then deal damage equal to half your influence to random opponent, expend. Also very good. Okay, obtuse and mean are the new ones on this side. We've obviously seen inspiration before. Mean is just a zero for four damage uh, expend, and obtuse is two dominant, so it's effectively two vo uh, two copies of uh, attitude being played at the same time with the same amount of damage. Um, diplomatic instincts definitely there. And then one or three negotiation cards. I'm fine without these. Gain, draw one extra card at the start of your turn. That is, so, Tactical Mind, draw one extra card at the start of your turn. It's an argument with five resolve. So I can play this out as an argument and then just reap the rewards from it. I kind of do like it, actually, drawing an extra card every single turn. Because um, we have a lot of cards that, like, we want to cycle back to constantly. And then a lot of cards that become free as a result of having a bunch of influence. So I'll, I'll take that. They say the tendrils of Hesh move in mysterious ways. Seems to me like you're about to get throttled by them. No, I'm I'm not. I was against this idea in the first place. The luminaries all yours. I'm a good Heshian. I, I I am. The Admiralty books it for the hills, like the tentacles of Hesh itself will come snapping at their heels. You want to tie the luminary and help him find his footing. Didn't expect rescue to come from someone who looks like you, Grifter. Grifter, a name for any factionless settler, explorer, or opportunist who hails from the Hovarian Griftlands. Well, I didn't expect manners from Illuminari, so at least one of us knows where we stand. Let's go. Delena's waiting for you. Easy. Wrapped it up easily. And what uh, brings you back? Return Malawi. Here you go. One Luminari, alive and... Uh, alive. This one leaves puddles in her footsteps, I think, Dylan. Uh, I'm unharmed. That's, uh, wonderful news. Thank you, Sal. Hesh's tendrils truly quiver where you walk. That's nice. What about my payment? Yes, yeah, uh, 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 of course, of course. Profits for those who embrace the abyss. You get paid 75 shields. And I also get to upgrade a card. Now, we were going to upgrade a battle card, but it'd be defensive surge if I upgrade a battle card, right? But also, this tactical mine looks a little bit... No, it's pretty good to upgrades. Uh, you got pale mine, so it costs zero to play the first one. Or draw two extra cards at the start of your turn. <laughs> but this only needs five experience in order to level up. And our negotiation deck is already strong. It's our battle deck that's very weak. Let's preview your upgrades. Gain four defense, no. Uh, two defense and three each turn. Yeah, because we always play this at the end of the turn. We play two cards before it always at least. So this is just the same as, if not better than boosted surge for us consistently. Let's have a look at the combination upgrades as well. Gain two combo or increase its damage. Probably gain two combo. Our combo synergy in this uh, this deck so far is a little bit weak. We've got one, two, three. Three cards that actually have combo synergy. Well, actually, Switchblade as well. Four cards that have combo synergy, and then the rest of the deck is way too thick. We need to upgrade more of this deck as well. We need to get into some more battles. It's just all the battles that I look like I can get into look like they will kill me because my deck is pretty bad at the moment. Um... Let's upgrade the negotiation card and get the tactical mind upgrade to boost the mind. If there's any hard negotiation, I might be able to... Whoa! Malawi loves me? You managed to capture his loyalty. Don't waste it. Reason save their life. Battle of Hash. Draw an extra card at the start of negotiation. Beautiful. 
Uh, I can give 200 chills to you, and then status cards will cost one less action in combat. I'm fine. I might come back for that later, but I'm fine at the moment. The hey. <laughs> That's all you get. It's all the dialogue. Right. Ooh, merchants have gathered the market soul. Beautiful. That's where I want to be. This part of the road is usually pretty quiet, but you come across a bit of a ruckus all the same. Seems like a bounty hunter has finally tracked down their quarry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just, I'm just pulling through uh, from voices. The bounty doesn't uh, specify you would uh, have to be dead, Dash. So come quietly and you won't get out. Capote. Nah. I'm good with a bit of hurt if it means putting you in the grave. You've been tailing me for too long. Having trouble here, Hunter? I've heard of you yourself, aren't you? What is your very dear? You want to in the bounty? Between the two of us, it'll be in deep pickings. Um, you know what? If Ash is going to be helping me, I'm going to defend you. Afraid not, Hunter. Ash is with me. Walk away and there'll be no hard feelings. All right? No hard feelings. I've been tracking this mark for seven days. You're trying to steal my tech. Well, guess what? I can take both of you on. All right. So you've got uh, one power at the start of battle. There's your power. You also have medic. Whenever you heal a target, also remove all negative conditions on that target. So stacking bleed on you isn't going to be particularly effective there. Um, okay. It looks like also Raid Rash is going to be taking all of your damage this turn. Well, let's start out with the combo gain, and then Switchblade, which will draw a card because I had some combo. Uh, throw a stab at you as well. I could use the Mandible here. Mandible is so good though. Yeah, fine. Cripple you for a bunch of turns, lowering your damage significantly. Apply four defense. I'll apply that to Raider Ash as well. Right, the Yoke buffed itself that turn with two power. Nice. Okay, so it looks like the Yoke's going to be taking uh, nine here. That's not good. Unfortunately, defensive surges only gain rather than apply defense. So it'd be on me. I'm going to gain two combo. Gain one counter per combo. Counter is removed at the end of my turn. Yeah, so actually I'm going to go stab. And then I will faint for my untrained Yote. And then I'll defensive surge. I'm just playing the defensive surge there to try and level it up. Start getting some experience on it. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like this enemy will actually uh, concede the battle at all. Ever. And they're buffing themselves, it looks like this turn. Probably healing, actually, if I had to guess. Okay. Yeah, and they're going to die this turn as a result of all of the attacks. I, I hope this doesn't get me a bad reputation. Okay, new battle, uh, new battle card, triage, remove all debuffs and expend all status cards in your hand to draw pile, replenish, destroy after two uses. I've also got five resolve for this. Good. Needed that. Upgrade a stab. Piercing. So that'll actually go through armor and stuff like that. And rooted stab just increases base damage. I'll take the rooted stab, increases base damage. Yeah. Another switchblade. Oof. Ability. Gain a condition for the rest of the battle. Oh, okay. Uh, and that is counter whenever you gain defense. Gain two counter whenever you gain defense. That sounds really good, but I want to go with the switchblade. Deal bonus damage equal to the cost of your hand. Eh, it's fine. I'm going with the switchblade. I'm going with a, like, cast way too many cards built. 
Phew, not the first tussle I've had with another hunter, but they never get easier. No kidding. Glad you had you here to save my skin. Don't mention it, but try to get better at staying out of trouble. If I did, then what did we have in common? I didn't even make a friend there? Are you kidding me? Okay, uh, Frolic of the Beasts. Hey, bud. Ooh, a wild urchin. What's a wild urchin? What is that? For a look at the beast, uh, wait, uh, this is an urchin, mate. Native to the Grout Bog, these walking mouths reproduce faster than any other species in Havaria. Don't worry about this one, I fixed it. It was broken? Uh, 37 chills for it. Ooh. Okay, so my wild yote is still much better. Um, heal the wild yote. No, my wild yote's already got really good HP. I, I want to upgrade it. There we go. Can you improve the untrained yote at all? Yeah. Yeah, no, I think I can. Frolic of the Beast takes the untrained Yote aside and leads her behind a curtain. You try not to listen as Frolic of the Beast gets to work. Finally, they emerge. The untrained Yote looks healthy, if a bit wary. Here you go, mate. Better than you. Uh, apply eight defense, replenish, and destroy after two uses. Uh, gain one evasion, destroy it. What's evasion? Dodge next hit, remove one evasion when you're attacked and at the start of your turn. Okay, cool. Uh, summon a Vrock to fight for you and uh, gain six power and Krilled up. Krilled up. Lose two power each turn. Lose 10 health when power reaches zero. Okay, so it's like a, a push for instant kill, basically. Kind of situation right there. All right. Now, can I see... Ooh, the Untrained Yard is missing some HP right now. Should be okay at the moment. So picking sides. Pick a side and start working for one of the factions in Murder Bay. I thought I already kind of picked a side. With Nadan? Oh, Del. Sorry about you, bud. <gasps> Wait a second. If I can provoke Del, they will attack me on their own and then I can kill them with no diplomatic consequences. And I have a long wee, fish, and the untrained yote working with me. I like it. <laughs> so long we do a, a jerk someone. You know what? No. I'm provoking Dell. Why are you here? Hey Dell, I hear you've been talking about me. Maybe I have, Grifter. You kill your Ashnu with you kiss your Ashnu with that mouth? Say that again. I dare you. I'll vouch for you, Sal. I've forgotten everyone's voices, so everyone's just getting a new voice. Um, okay. Boost for poor. Untrained Yote. I could have sworn I trained my Yote. Uh, trained my Yote. Absolutely could have sworn that I trained, and, uh, trained that. Oh, well. Um, let's go for Flatter, maybe? Kills that argument for me. I'm gonna compose that as well. Uh, day shift. If any argument or bounty is dismissed, destroy this and draw a card. Oh, also, you have at the start of Del's turn, insert a random task card into your deck. Got it. Um, you've also got Flustered, reduces damage by 33%, and it reduces every single turn. Yeah, I. I could incept insulted, reduced by one whenever you play a non-hostile card. Oh, wait a second. No, reduced by one whenever you play a non-hostile card will end the negotiation and start a fight if argument reaches 10. So I actually do need to insult them consistently here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not really what I wanted to do. Turn, I guess. Ow. My composure. Gain one to account. 
So this is irritable. Uh, gain one count whenever a card is played. Uh, when this count reaches 10, Sal loses 10 resolve and then the argument is dismissed. I don't want to lose 10 resolve if possible. Play that out. Threaten you. Pale Fast Talk. Pale Fast Talk guarantees Irritable gets killed here, but I can kill Irritable on a later turn. I need to defend myself right now. Oh, the enemy is actually working me over here. I really don't like this. I need to get back to my AoE and more... Uh... Actually, hang on. You... You have one insulted. I can give you. I can give you the rest of the insulted right now. Here we go. Boom. That's ten insulted. Now you'll end the fight, and we can fight. Uh, spend two influence to apply eight composure. That can be really necessary later on in order to save my health. That's it. We're fighting now. I'm in an isolated location. I can get away with murder. Let's get him. Okay, you've also got armored gain four defense at the end of each turn. Neat. So we want to start with gaining combo. Apply bleed for each card play this turn. We'll start with that. No, wait. That's that's at the end of the turn. That's at the end of the turn we do that. Okay, cool. We'll start with that. Then switch blade for draw. Salt, next attack card is played twice. Oh, double the slice. That's going to be so good. Okay. Sal's daggers to gain. Maybe bleed here, actually. Let's get bleed. And then. Oh. Rooted stab. Assault. And slice you twice. That's a pretty good turn. Right? You, you have to you have to agree. There's a turn it off right there. No, let's talk it out like this. I'm, just um, I'm just trying to get extra experience out here. Bye! So now they're no longer around badmouthing me and making uh, giving me the, the negative thing, the relationships. Like, yeah, some yeah. Cassio is the only person that hates me now, whereas uh, it was previously he also hated me and was giving me a negative debuff. It was discard a card at the start of each negotiation as well, which is kind of annoying. All right, upgrade sells daggers. Insert gouge or vertical slash in your hand or rain of blades and gut shot. Okay, so it's, it's basically do I want bleed or do I want combo? I want combo. So we get attack twice, gain two combo, and finisher deal two bonus damage and hits all enemies instead. Okay, Reign of Blades is a great, great card for this. Adrenaline shot, add two copies of Hasten. We've seen that before. <clears throat> I need more things that actually give us combo rather than take our combos. So I don't think I can take any of these right now. I'll take the money. Dell is dead. And so is the grudge that he held against you now. All right, what's up, fish? Pull up a state. Stool's not too stoggy. How'd go? You and Nadan get all riled up in your hatred of the Admiralty? Mostly, he just seems like an opportunist to me. Yeah? Well, I'm glad you found each other. There's opportunities plenty for a crook like him and an arm like yours. It's getting late. Need anything else before you turn in? No, I'm fine. You turn in. Time to hit the sack. Say. Someone came in looking for you earlier. They didn't look too friendly. Maybe sleep with one eye open tonight, huh? Let's ask about the stranger. Asking after me? what they want? Said they wanted to hire you, but... You asked me, they look like trouble. I was sent them packing. Said you were out on the road and won't be back for days. Still, got my blades under the bar if we need them. Ask about fish. Wish I'd been here sooner. Would have liked to see you... Uh, Would have liked to have seen you give Cashio a walloping. You mean get walloped by Cashio more like? I ain't as young as I used to be, Sal. You been gone a good long time. And Cashio? Well, she could have laid me out of now youth all the same. Should I be worried? You're the one who taught me how to fight. What, you reading riding history? Cashio taught you too. 
You know her moves better than she know yours. You got this. But mommy later to teach you how to throw a different. Uh, <laughs> mommy later to teach you a different way to throw a punch. I told you when you were little, of course, but I'm feeling it now. Maybe that technique wasn't so good for longevity. I don't expect. I don't really expect it to make. Uh, don't really expect to make it to your age, anyway. You hashing better. Head to bed. I'll take my chances. Steps aside, and you head down to your room for the night. Something's not right. In the dim light, some of the shadows look darker than usual. Who's there? A figure steps out of the shadow, heavily armed. If it thinks like an assassin and slinks like an assassin... This would have been easier if you'd gone to sleep, Hunter. Not too late to shut your eyes, if you prefer. Demoralize the assassin before attacking. Ooh, let's go for it. Do you even know who you're working for? Caring isn't part of the job description. Well, maybe you should reevaluate that. Cashio ain't like other clients. Okay, you also have uh, impending doom. When dismissed, Hanabi gains one, uh, sorry, Hanbi gains one impatience. Hanbi will also start the next battle with an additional existential crisis. So impatience will actually increase the damage that they deal, but the existential crisis. Good. Okay. Uh, let's. We're definitely getting overbear, but let's improvise first. Except too flustered. Flustered reduce the damage, vulnerability. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll give you some vulnerability. There you go. And then overbear. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. to get rid of the untrained Yoda argument. Or, like, one of them at least. Oh, okay, so you have the thing of, yeah, anytime I fully mitigate an attack, you take damage. Good. <clears throat> okay, let's go boosted rapport, boosted rapport, and then enhanced intrigue to take that one out. Unfortunately, yeah, the enemy was hiding their intents there, but now all I need to do is just take them out directly. Actually, appeal to reason so I can level it up. Yeah, appeal to reason so I can level it up. Okay, so I can upgrade and appeal to reason, and we upgrade these for damage, right? Yeah, damage. And then upgrade this for more composure. Ooh, composure and draw a card. We'll take the composure and draw a card there. Double your influence, gain three vulnerability. I think I need another build rapport before I take a calling all favors, actually. Just remember, she wouldn't have had me kill uh, she wouldn't want to have me killed if she didn't consider me a sizable threat. But no problem. You'll handle what Cassio couldn't, right? The assassin doesn't answer, but you can tell you've left them off balance. Rush the assassin. So I have a uh, first strike and a bonus action on the first turn. I'm in an isolated location, so I can get away with murder. And I can't run from the fight once it starts. It's too all time. Let's go. Ha! Okay. Definitely start with gaining a combo, using a switchblade for extra draw there. Assassin uh, Hanbi's attacks deal three additional damage while this is in my hand. That's unfortunate. Switchblade, and then an assault and double stab. You also have Existential Crisis. At the end of turn, increase Panic by one. Panic is unable to attack for three turns. Each attack received decreases this delay until it reaches one. Thankfully, my Yoke defended itself on that turn. Hilt Slam. If Assassin Hanbi's next attack deals damage, it will insert two additional Assassin's Marks into my deck. Okay, so we need to make sure that we full defend this turn. Um, improvise from, car, uh, from special cards. We'll play Defensive Surge. That'll be enough defense for me. Play Scrapper. Just got that. Then get a combo card. One. 
And then I'll gain 10 defense so you don't hit me here. And then I will bleed you for five as well. <clears throat> nice try, Hanabi. Hanbi, rather, sorry. Gain plus one damage per combo. I have a few stacks of combo, sure. I don't think I need Mandible in this fight, to be entirely honest with you. So I think I'm going to go Rooted Stab, Combination, Faint. Enemy is buffing themselves this turn. I am actually a little concerned about that. Maybe I should cripple. This is the last time we'll be able, uh, I'll be able to use Mandible if I do. Fine. This is a boss fight at the end of the day, so I should expect to need that, I think. Just defend it for 10 that turn. You're gonna make my untrained Yoke run away? No! I've got way too many assassin marks in hand. Okay, I need ways to get those out of my hands here somehow. Uh, hasten my draw pile, that's not gonna do it. Finisher, gain counter, that's not gonna do it. Uh, okay, you got 24 and you're gonna be taking six, 26, 16. You're... Okay, that's exactly enough damage to make you panic. So if I faint you twice, this is going to keep you around. Plus one damage per combo. So I have you know, three. It's reversal. And then stab. At least my yote stuck around. Wish I had more combo at this point. Let's go this for combo gain. Then switch blade for draw. Switch blade for draw. Oh my god, this is working out so well. Uh, rooted stab. I'll gain 12 defense and then I'll give you 6 bleed. Yeah, this whole, like, combo casting build is really working out for us. Oh, no murdering my untrained yoke. Not allowed. Illegal maneuver. Gain three defense. That's not apply three defense. Uh, all right, I'm going to start building up combo while all this is happening, I think. Defend you, keeping you around for the turn. And especially with all of this combo, yeah, all of these switchblades, we should definitely be able to get the kill. Okay, and faint. Faint's already leveled up. Attack again. Good. We're going to level up so many cards as a result of that battle. Stab, faint, and switchblade. Yeah, there's three of them at least. Okay, uh, restore some resolve from the battle. Stab, faint, and switchblade. Uh, Hanby's power supply. Gain one power while this is in your hand. Unplayable replenish. That's really good. Okay, faint is going to upgrade to draw a card. Or the next attack this turn deals maximum damage. We don't have attacks uh, outside of the stabs that have that big of a range. So I'll take the faint of vision instead. Apply one wound. Attacks uh, inflict one bonus damage on this target at the beginning of the turn. Remove the uh, reduced wound by one. Sure. Yeah, that'll be good for a switchblade kind of situation. Speaking of switchblade kind of situation, 50% chance of applying one wound. Or I can increase its damage to one to three. Nah, 50% chance of applying a wound. We're, we're going to go with a combo caster kind of build. It's It's been working out so far. I like it. Um, ability. Whenever you apply bleed, heal one. Uh, discard a card, double the damage on a random card in your hand this turn, or apply three bleed, then deal damage equal to the target's bleed. Hemorrhage could help. Maybe you apply bleed, heal one. That's, we have so little bleed in the deck, but that would be so good if we had more. I'm gonna take hemorrhage there. Okay, apply two composure to all of your arguments. Is calm. The next card played this turn is played twice. Duplicity, I definitely want that. Uh, gain whenever you play a hostile card, draw card. No, we'll take Duplicity though. Hanbi lies dead at your feet. She charges into the room, moving spryly for a Kradeshi of her age. That's yeah, the stranger I told you about. You right, kid? 
Cassio sent them. The Typical Cassio, leaving others clean up her mess. It takes both of you a while to deal with the mess, but once you're done, it's cleaner than it was to start. There, complimentary house cleaning. Now you should sleep soundly. In theory. Fish stands guard by your door for the rest of the night, leaving you to catch up on your shove eye. Pick a grant reward and gain an action at the start of your turn. All hostile cards deal 50% less damage. How many hostile cards do I even have in my negotiation deck? I have three. I'm okay without those, I think. Uh, at the start of your turn, reduce the cost of a random card in your hand by one until blade. That's also actually really good. Um, gain one action at the start of your turn. When installed, two people, two random people will hate you. No. Roll the drum. You spend time slapping together some makeshift security. If anyone comes through the windows now, you'll know about it. Your bed calls to you. As you drift to sleep, you remember fish scooping you out of the dirt and smacking the foreman's yote on the nose right before it could snap his jaws around your skinny wrist. Let's rest to heal back up to full. We've got one new person who loves us. We removed a person who hates us. We picked up a bunch of battle cards, picked up a decent amount of negotiation cards, upgrade cards by playing them. Thanks for that. Uh, two graphs, as well as a couple new likes that I might be able to, in the future, turn into some boons for us. When you wake up, you'd almost think the grog is beginning to look homey, if you hadn't already almost been murdered in it. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Griftlands. The, uh, there is a link in the description down below, at the very top of the description, in fact, uh, for the purchase of the game, if you would like to do so. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.